just wanted to talk to you a little bit about dogs, especially Wyoming dogs. I live here in Wyoming, the summer times are great, but the winter times are very cold. So depending on the type of dog you choose, it's very important here in Wyoming. Hi, my name is Trevor Aiken. I'm a dog family person. A little bit about me, I worked for the Jackson Police Department. I had two canines that I handled, dual purpose canines, over the course of about five and a half years. Another dog that I've had as a police officer is a Belgian Malinois. They're great dogs, very extremely highly driven dogs. They make awesome pets. They can be very protective of you and your family, but they need a lot of attention, a lot of activity, several hours a day. This is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is a great Wyoming dog. They love the water, doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. This is the perfect Wyoming dog in my opinion. Um, they love to retrieve things, be <laughs> in the water all the time, great family pets not aggressive, and they're perfect for the climate we have here in Wyoming. He grew up with an Annie and a little silver spoon. She had all of her chores done A dog like this, a Boston Terrier, is a great dog, but it's going to be an inside dog. If you let this type of dog out to use the bathroom, it might not stray too far from the doorway, especially when it's really cold and there's snow around. It's a high drive dog though, and it's great for family, great for kids. Great to have. You just need to make sure that you give it enough attention and enough toy time or they'll destroy your house. Uh, it's very important when you have dogs to socialize them with other dogs. My first canine had never been around other dogs and he was just a dog fighter. Any dog that would come by, he would just instantly try to fight. It's great if you can have puppies together or dogs together because they learn to grow up with each other and you don't have the fighting problems. Also, it's great to socialize them with people because you don't want them to bite people that come over or to be jumping on people. So the more children and people around your dog, the better they're going to be for you and the better behaved they will be. I'd like to talk about training for just a minute. And first of all, you need to look at things from the dog's psychological point of view. They're not like humans. You need to reach them on their level. I love dogs. Dogs are talented. You can teach them to do almost anything. One of the most important things in training dogs is your voice. If you have a deep, rally, rough voice, the dog will think that he or she is in trouble all the time. Uh, when you praise a dog, it needs to be a high-pitched, excited, energetic voice so the dog knows that he or she has done something correctly. Dickie, sit, sit. Oh, that's a fine girl. She's a fine girl, Dickie. Yes, she is. Woo, you so. If your dog should do something wrong, which when they're puppies they're going to do quite frequently, you have approximately two to four seconds to correct that behavior. Ah, uh, Nix, drop it. If you wait uh, longer it. than Rosie, that, the dog assumes whatever he or she is doing at that moment was incorrect or wrong. So drop if you hit it. your dog when you come home because there's a mess in the corner that it made, but it was two hours ago, your dog doesn't associate those two things. It associates its behavior for the last two to four seconds. So you need to be on top of things. 
remember to be patient and not get frustrated with your dog or you're going to create some problems with the dog. There are building blocks you should build on. Start with small things and build from there, such as if you have a Chesapeake Bay Retriever, you want to start playing with a ball and have the dog bring the ball back to you. And then you graduate up from there to a toy duck or something like that, and then eventually you can make it to a duck or a goose that you um, have shot and is in the river. When you train your dog, make sure that it's fun for the dog. Remember your voice commands. Use a lot of toys. If you do obedience or any of that kind of training, it needs to be very fun for the dog. He needs to be into it or you're not going to reach the dog and he's not going to learn. Food selection is very important for your dog. You should buy a high quality food. There are a variety of them, but something that's high quality and nutritious. And actually, if you do that, your dog will be healthier. It'll probably live longer. It will have less of a mess in your yard if you feed him high quality food. So remember, uh, selection of your dog is very important. It, de it depends on what you want your dog to do. Don't neglect your dog. If you show love and care for him or her, they will love you back and make life very interesting for you. <laughs> Dogs uh, provide a great atmosphere for a family, and there's all kinds of scientific data to suggest that uh, people who have dogs live longer, fuller lives and experience more joy and happiness in their lives. <laughs> She's a fine girl. Look at Angie. trouble my wife's mad at me I am in the doghouse if you will so making this video hopefully will get me back out of the doghouse